You know, a lot of people probably don't know that Floor Cliffs Nature Preserve is right here in the backyard of Lexington. And uh, they just don't realize the diversity that the state has in terms of plants and, and animals. It was started by um, Dr. Mary Wharton. She was a botanist and author, and she started purchasing Flora Cliff in the late 1950s, and it took her about 30 years to acquire 287 acres. In the late uh, 1980s is when she set up the nonprofit and specified that Flora Cliff be open for guided hike only, and she wanted it to be used primarily for education and research. Flora Cliff is a, is a nonprofit partnership the majority of Floor Cliff has been dedicated in the State Nature Preserve system since the mid-90s, but a couple years ago, our Heritage Land Program helped them add another 60 acres and helped fund that acquisition, so it was an expansion of this natural area. We work with them on a variety of environmental education programs. We do a lot of their, their inventory. Our zoologist has done a lot out here with insects and added a lot of records for our database as well as for their management. So Floor Cliff kind of encapsulates a little bit of all the different programs that we do. Plus it's just a cool place to come hiking. So we started out by the Nature Center and we've got our pollinator field um, that we've been working on for the last few years So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, and we started out in, after that in the sort of upland woods and made our way to Elk Lake Falls. So we've got a kind of a mix of different calcareous sites uh, from Music Forest to more Xeric Forest and on those southwest facing slopes is where uh, we saw some of the old trees today that date to the 1600s. I think it grounds us and keeps us in touch with nature to have these species and to protect them. I think if you ask any citizen, if you poll them, they would all say it's, it's important to protect these, even though they may not understand what goes into doing that. At Florida Cliff, we're just trying to really document as much biodiversity as we can out here. Our partnership with Nature Preserves has been really important to that. You know, I really love it when either it's biologists or the general public that come out here and they're surprised what we have, whether it's the old trees or like, oh, I didn't know that species was here. Once we start digging and kind of looking in all the nooks and crannies, there's a lot to be discovered.